Crystal. And I'm Anne. Welcome to Let's Talk About Faith Stuff. Today, we will continue having a conversation about your faith questions. Last week, we talked about baptism. I had a few interesting conversations about baptism this week as a result. How about you, Anne? Well, I didn't have any conversations about it, but it sure got me thinking. We all have questions and it can really help to grow your faith by asking them and talking about them. We want to encourage you to bring your questions to us so we can discuss them. We have a very interesting question this week and we hope you enjoyed the discussion. It's time. Let's really talk about faith stuff. What is our question for this week? The question for this week is, what did Jesus really look like? I am so excited <laughs> to talk about this one. Yeah, I might, I might even add to that question. I might say, if Jesus wasn't white, why is he depicted that way so much in our, in our culture? And I think that's really important too. I think it's important to remember where Jesus was born and where he lived and right. what people in modern day Israel look like. Um, and, and, you know, people didn't travel or, or um, you know, cultures didn't intersect it quite as much in Jesus's time. So you would have had no airplanes. that kind of, yeah, no airplanes. <laughs> and you would have had people that kind of all looked similar because they were from a similar region. Um, people just didn't pack up and move off very often because it was right. quite an ordeal. Yeah. I think it's important to know that Jesus wasn't white. Um, but it's also important to know that um, the Bible doesn't say anything about what he looked like. Really. Exactly. In fact, it's kind of um, purposefully, obviously missing. Um, it's, it's a glaring thing. There's only two places in the entire Bible, and they're both in the Old Testament, that even briefly mention. And they're kind of contradictory. One says he had no beauty or majesty, and the other one said he was fairer than the children of men. Fair meaning not white, but um, more, uh, more beautiful or more, more uh, attractive. Uh, and so, both those were written beforehand as prophecies yeah. looking forward to him so exactly so we really we really don't have any idea and, and why do you think that is Anne? well maybe maybe it wasn't important and maybe it's important for us to be able to relate to jesus wherever it works for us um i personally relate to a darker skinned jesus but not everybody does a lot of people who are are who have skin the color of mine want their Jesus to have the skin color of theirs because that feels better. Right. And, and, you know, I'm always, you know, going for the historic accuracy. So, so for me, I want the more, I also tend to relate to a Jesus who is probably a little bit more historically accurate than how he is portrayed in the Western world. Yeah. And I, I do know that there is the famous portrait of Jesus um, that's from the 1940s <laughs> that we all sort of uh, have had in our churches at one time or another. Some people have had them in their homes. Um, and in that particular picture, um, it's, it's aged looking. So it does tend to not to take the really white glare off him, but it's, he's clearly blonde and blue eyed and, and white. And um, they have re recently redone that picture to depict him a little bit, maybe more like he actually looked, which I think is really interesting. If you look up, there's there's lots of sources on the internet for that, but um, there's, it's, there's a lot of information about that. Yeah, it's yeah, and there's too much for us to cover. <laughs> yeah, way too much for us to cover on this little six minute deal here. Um, so it's um, it's interesting if you look through the history of of the images of Jesus, you know, they started maybe even there were no there were no images of him made at, at the time of his time here on Earth. But um, about a hundred years after he lived, there were uh, some images that came up, and they were more about what he was doing rather than what he looked like. And and it kind of started from there. And so I think maybe that's a good message too, Anne, that, that we should be concerned with what Jesus was doing. 
Right. Um, and I think on the one hand, I think it doesn't matter so much what he looked like. And on the other hand, I think it's really important to point out that um, Jesus was darker skinned. So I think there's been a lot of a lot of racism created by the way we have Jesus depicted in our in our art, in our churches. I agree. And again, I'm always for the historical accuracy. So I, mm -hmm. I think that's important. That I, but I also think it's important that we all look at the life that Jesus lived and, and his yep. life was one that never marginalized anyone. And he always tended to gravitate toward the people that were marginalized or uh, demonized in some way mm -hmm. by society. And, and I love that. I love that about Jesus. Yep. And that I sort of put my um, my focus is on what he did. I, I like that um, uh, there's an article that I read about um, how the history of the images of Jesus and, and the author suggested that. And I, I, I think I like that. Yeah. So I would I would recommend those who um, are watching this do a little Google search on that. It's it's, it's really interesting. It is, and there's some National Geographic built a face based on things. I don't even know um, where they're getting their information from, but there's, yeah, there's some very interesting, it's definitely a rabbit hole, isn't it? Ian? Oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. We hope that you will continue this conversation and do some research. We'd love to hear from you about what interesting things your discussions came up with. Yes, we would. And there's an email address in the credits where you can send your questions. You can give us feedback and tell us how your discussions went. We look forward to hearing from you. And until then, keep questioning. See you next time. Bye.